This really simple activity has been designed to support speaking and listening and to enable collaborative inquiry from home. Um, it's a great example of how um, when students are working from home now, um, students in K and grade one can actually access Verso because they've got somebody there typically to help them. So um, what the teacher's done here is given the students a stimulus, in this case a photograph, given them some instructions um, and Again, there could have been some teacher audio here as well, or teacher video to talk to the students, to explain what they need to do. But the stimulus image, um, the students have to work with somebody at home, generate as many questions as they can about crocodiles, things that they're wondering, and when they've done that, choose their best question and post that in Verso. And there's a few tips on how to do that for the students. And when they've done that, they need to find somebody else in their class who's posted a question that they might be able to answer or they can research and then record their answer and write what they can um, into the, the, the collaborative activity. Um, the teacher's given the students some conversation starters, just because it's questioning why, what, when, where, how. Um, that language has been posted in the contextual vocabulary box and then the, because it's about um, habitats and animals there's some academic language that will signpost students thinking and have them sort of we can gauge the extent to which they've used that. Now down here we can see we can hit view vocabulary and we can st see the language the students are using in their questioning and for individual students we can see what they're each using. So I can start to use that in my feedback. Now obviously in student view, peer-to-peer, -peer, it's anonymous. The interesting um, piece here though, the students allowed, the teacher has allowed students to use the audio recording to share their questions. When I click on the student's response, other students can read it, they can listen to it. When did the baby hatch from the egg? The teacher can then go When did the baby hatch from the egg? <laughs> you can hear it twice if you like. Uh, the teacher can then respond, but the teacher can also then respond with audio as well. I've got a question for you. How long do you think it takes for the crocodile egg to hatch? And then we've got stu other students jumping in and trying to answer the questions in class really simple construct with students sharing their voice they can also upload images and resources so if you have a look i think one student just might have done that um, here we go so in answer to a question a student's attached a picture that he's drawn of the life cycle of a crocodile from his research again really simple activity and to make that happen when you build your activity and you edit it all you have to do is allow students in advance to share images and audio. They don't need video, so I'll uncheck that box.